In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can create website design mockups and show them in different devices like desktop, tablet and mobile phone. And in that we can showcase the live website or we can use a single image and use some animations to show that in a responsive mode. And this is how it will look. Here we have a simple mockup which is showing in different devices. And if we mouse over on this you can see that the mockup is moving up and down on all the devices at the same time. Along with that, you can also showcase your complete mockup in a laptop screen, which will look something like this. Along with that, we will also cover how we can add a video inside our laptop mockup, which will look something like this. So here you can play the video inside this laptop screen. And there are various other options that you can explore to showcase your mockup inside various devices. And this will look amazing with this scrolling animation effect. Along with that, you can also show your mockup inside a custom screen like this one. And for all that, we are going to use the dynamic device block from the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. So if all that sounds interesting and you also want to spice up your portfolio mockup design, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. My name is Ankit Sharma from the team Pose Myth. And if you want to deep dive in the world of WordPress using Gutenberg, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. Here we are in our WordPress backend and here in the plugin section, we have the plus add-ons for block editor free as well as the pro version installed. And once both of these plugins are installed, we can now see plus settings. And under that, we need to go to plus blocks. And here we need to search for dynamic. So this is the dynamic device block that we need to use. So make sure it's turned on. And as you can see, it's part of the pro plan of plus add-ons. So make sure you have the pro version of this plugin installed. And once you turn this on, make sure you click on save. And now let's go ahead and create a page where we will add all these mockups. Now, in order to get these animated mockup on your WordPress website, you can easily go ahead and copy the designs that you see on our website and then paste it on your website. All you have to do is just see which design you want. Let's say this one. And then you will find a copy button on the right hand side. So just click on this. So now our design is copied. Let's come back here on any page. And here on the top, we have an option for plus paste. Let's click on this. And now you see our complete design is pasted here. And all you have to do is just click on this mockup and then change all the settings. So this is how you can copy any of these designs that you see on our website and then use it on your own project. But in order to understand each and every feature or functionality of this blog, let's go ahead and build this from scratch. So first, let's go ahead and add a row. And we will use a single column layout for this one. And for this row, let's go to settings. And maybe we can add some padding from the top and some padding from the bottom. And in the style, let's go ahead and add a gradient, something like this. And let's make it full width. And now inside this row, we will add TP dynamic device. So let's choose this block. And right now we don't see anything yet. So for that, we have options on the right hand side. Under layout, the first option is dynamic device. And under this, we have first is normal and second is carousal. So first, let's go ahead and check out normal. So let's select normal from here. And then we need to choose what type of device we want to use to showcase our mockup. So here by default, it's selected as mobile. We can choose tablet or maybe we can choose a laptop, which will look something like this. Or maybe we can choose a monitor screen, which will look something like this. And our mockup will be displayed inside this area. So for this example, let's say we choose a laptop. 
and we can also choose the laptop device so we have different variations of laptop depending upon the screen size so we will keep it on macbook black and here now we have an option to choose the content type so either we can choose an image or maybe we can choose a reusable block so we need to create a reusable block and then it will be displayed here inside this screen of laptop and after that we can also choose an iframe so we will cover all the three one by one so first we will choose image and here we can upload an image so let's go ahead and click on this pencil icon so let's say we have this image for a website mockup so let's select this and right now it's not looking very good but we will fix that in just a few minutes so now let's go ahead and scroll down and here we can see it's a very long image and after this we have on click option so what should happen once we click on this mockup so by default it is set on nothing we can choose a link if you want to send our visitors to a particular website maybe the live url of our mockup so we can enter the link here or maybe we can choose as a pop-up but right now we are going to leave it as it is so we will set it to nothing and after that we have a show icon so if we turn this on an icon will be visible on the top of this mockup so maybe we can add an image here so let's select an image so let's say we add this image here which is a downward pointer so that people know that they need to move the mouse downward so let's select that and once that is done we now need to go to style and here we can adjust the width of our device that we have added here so it will look something like this and after this we can change the alignment as well and maybe we can add some margin or padding so you can play with that as per your design requirement and after this we have icon settings so here we have the continuous animation we can add a border here we can change the icon width so you can play around with that and after this we have an option for image let's click on this and here we have scroll image so let's turn this option on and now you see our image mockup is looking perfectly fine it means that this image is now scrollable so that it will not shrink down inside our mockup screen and after this we have an option for manual scroll so if we turn this on it will add a vertical scroll bar on the mockup screen so right now we will keep this off and after this we have transition duration so here we can increase or decrease the scroll transition time and after this we have dynamic device connection id so this is a place where we need to enter a unique id so that we can connect two different mockup devices and this is the option which we can use to show the simultaneous scrolling on different mockup devices so we will cover that as well in just a few minutes and after that we have outer border radius so this will be the border radius for the image so you can play around with that but right now it looks perfectly fine after this we have device background so here we have the drop shadow so maybe we can play around with that so if you want to add some shadow here so you can do that all right so let's update this here and see how it looks in the front end so let's open this in a new tab so this is how our mockup looks like and if we bring the mouse on top of this screen we should be able to see the scroll effect here it is so this is how the scroll effect works so now let's go to the next step where we add one more mockup and this time we will add a mobile device and then we will try to sync the mockup on both the devices so that we can show a continuous scrolling effect so let's come back here in our back end and let's open the list view here and inside this we have our column so let's add another column here and on the right hand side in this column we will add another dynamic device and once again we will keep this on normal and this time we choose device type as mobile and here we have option to choose mobile device so we can choose iphone white iphone black and various other so in this case we will go with iphone x black 
So this is how it looks. And content type will stay as image again because we are going to use the same image as we used here. So let's upload it again. Here it is. Let's select it and we will leave everything as it is. We go back here in style and in the image, we will turn on the scroll image effect and we will change the transition duration to 20. And now here we will enter a dynamic device connection ID. So let's call it DD1 and then we go back to this dynamic device that we use for this laptop. We go to style and in the image section here, we will enter the same ID for the dynamic device connection ID. Now let's update this here and let's click on this row and for the vertical position, let's set it to bottom and then update this here. And let's refresh our front end. So here we have our laptop as well as our mobile mockup. So let's see what happens if we bring mouse on top of any of the screen. So here you can see that scroll happening, but the speed is different. And that's because we have set a different transition time for both the devices. Now in the next example, instead of image, let's go ahead and choose a reusable block. So for this example, we are going to use the template from our website, which is this one. So let's go ahead and copy from here and let's get rid of everything from here. And then we will use the plus paste. And in no time, our design is ready. So let's click on this dynamic device block. And here you can see the option image, reusable block or iframe. So instead of image, we are going to choose reusable block. And here is the list of reusable blocks that are already available on this website. So in case you have not created your reusable block yet, all you have to do is just click on this button and maybe you can open that in a new tab and create the reusable block. But right now we are going to choose the one from our list. We will choose this one. Let's go ahead and update this here and let's refresh the front end. So here we have our sample design. We have our mockup here and here we can see a video which is actually part of our reusable block. So if I show you the reusable block from here, if we go in edit, so in this reusable block, we have just added a simple video and that's what is showing under this laptop screen as our mockup. So if we come back here and here, if we click on this list view, we have also added TP mouse cursor block. So with this, we are able to add a custom image for our mouse cursor, especially for this block, which we can see here. So when we mouse over on this block, we see a custom cursor. It says play now with an icon. So if you want to learn how you can add these kind of custom cursors, then we have already created a video about it. You can go ahead and watch that. We will link it in the I button above. And now instead of reusable block, let's come back here. We will choose iframe. And as soon as we select iframe, we get an option to enter a website URL. And whatever URL you enter, you will be able to see instant preview here. So let's update this. So let me just remove this logo from here. So this is how our mockup looks where we have an iframe. So this is a very cool way if you want to show a live website URL for your portfolio inside this laptop mockup. Now this is how we can use the normal layout. Let's go ahead and check the carousal as well. Once again, you can see the carousal example on our website like this one or maybe like this one. So you can go ahead and copy this sample from here. So once we are back in our backend, let's go ahead and click on plus paste. And here we have our template. So now here on the right hand side, we have some text. We have a call to action button. And on the left hand side, you can see a mockup. And inside that we have some images which we are using as carousal. So if we click here, here in the layout, we have selected carousal instead of normal. And here for the device type, if you notice, we have an extra option that is custom, which means if we click here, we will be able to upload any custom image. 
and then we will be able to use that as our mockup base. So here you can upload maybe a mobile frame or maybe a watch screen like this one. But make sure you use a transparent image so that our carousal will be visible in the front end. And once that is done, below this we get an option to upload images for our carousal. So here we can add images from our media library. And then again, we can go ahead and play around with some stylings. Here you will be able to adjust the width of this mockup. And you can also play around with the alignment as we have already covered. And, and here we have an option for mockup. Here we can set the width, height or offset of this mockup. So if in case you want to adjust this mockup frame, so you can do that from here, something like this. And after this, we have the same image setting. So we can give some border. We can set the width and height of the image. And after that, we have offset option for top and left. And we also have the Z index value for the images that we are using. And after this, we have the carousal option, how we want to showcase this slider. So that we can define from here. So here we have the column, which is right now set in singular. So you can add multiple column carousal. But in this case, we are only using a small screen. So we will go with single. After this, we have slide speed, which we can set from here. We have the column gap. We have the infinite mode. So the images are going to scroll in the infinite loop. And we have the autoplay. After this, we have dots that you want to showcase at the bottom of this mockup. We can play around with that as well. So this is how it's going to look. And here we have an option to set the styling of these dots. After this, we have carousal slide. So once again, we can set the margin and then do some styling and adjustment of the slide image. And after this, we have device background that we have already covered. So let's update this here and let's see how it looks in the front end. So here we have our mockup and under this, we can see our carousal here. So this is how easy it is to create animated mockups for your portfolio website design and showcase them in different devices right inside your WordPress site. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and share it with someone who wish to create some amazing looking portfolio sites with the plus add-ons for Gutenberg. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.